This is going to be a quick video explaining to what happened to my CNC and why I haven't posted any videos in the last couple of weeks. So I was in the middle of trying to do a T-slot and the Arduino went ahead and burned itself up for me. So I had to do a bit of a revamping and I ended up doing a complete revamp of the entire thing. I didn't like the way the wires were managed before so I've changed that up a bit and I have designed this new carriage in order to have one stepper driver per motor on each axis and be able to run the STL cam. I can control all of the motors simultaneously as if it was a ramps board with five motor controllers. I'm going to show you my enclosure here I had to build and designed. And of course it's 3D printed. And here's the inside. We're looking at two CNC shields, and underneath the one on the left here is an Arduino Uno. And what happens here is what we do is there are these DuPont pins here on this side near the power, and they're all labeled for the step and the axis. So you need to just run those pins up over into this side where these pins sit on this side. They're the exact same pins, you just jump them from there to there, and that enables all the functionality of the steppers you just need to now power them on which is the 5 volt in the ground pin there which is the red and black wire right here which comes over and again terminates right down here and then you just bridge the power from here up into this side and add some cooling because they will still get quite hot using two amps of power on each one that's what they're rated for at least This box will be available on Thingiverse on my page for anybody who wants to build it themselves. It has remote intake for the air so that way there's less dust inside the box. And the 5015 fan blows it out quite well, keeps it nice and cool. And for the wire management here, we have tape measure that I have sacrificed which is run inside of wire loom which is screwed down here and over here in order to keep it nice and straight it keeps the wires nice and tidy as it moves it keeps them from bending too tightly and shouldn't bind up and stop traveling like a drag chain does I also had to address the table sag issue that I had because I was only using one 7.5mm MDF board. I had to add a, another 3 quarter inch MDF board underneath here to make it a little bit truer. It still has a slight amount of sag but it's an empty CNC that's double the size it's supposed to be. I do have one other strengthening addition that I have done. I saw this on the forums, or at least the spitball of the idea on the forums of Vicious One, and it's a uh, square piece of steel, square tubing here that runs all the way down the center tube, which is the longer of the three tubes. It also is the one that takes the most brunt of the stress because it's so long and it controls the cutting head. In order to get it to fit snugly in here, I had to, again, design small semi semicircles to fit on the square stock to allow it to fit inside of the conduit snugly. Those are glued down to the square stock and slid in to the conduit. Let's see, is there anything else that I did? No, there's nothing. This is, oh, here's the other addition. High pressure air assist. I just screwed it on the back of, let's see. Screwed on the back of the carriage here, and it has you know one of these bendy cores. But in order to lessen the amount of air, because I only have this Dewalt air compressor here, it doesn't put out the most CFM, and I don't want it to have to run all the time. So I necked it down and made a much smaller jet for the air to come out of, which effectively clears the chips, but doesn't use anywhere near as much air. Uh, oh, I also had an issue with chips clogging my bearings here. So I've designed these little chip clearing 
wire loom holders and it holds a piece of wire loom just onto the rail on the top and so the chips can't accumulate it's on either side it just knocks them off as it moves I don't have any experience with these I just installed them so I'm not sure how well they work I'll definitely make an update video sometime in the future until next time